lot of what I'm going to say is kind of going to uh, mimic what Coach Armstrong uh, had to say. Myself, I didn't grow up inner city Cleveland, but I grew up in East Cleveland. So, yes, very, very, very bad side of Cleveland. Yes, a lot of, a lot of, uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, to kind of give you guys uh, one of the defining moments in my life, my brother, uh, he's a year older than me. He had a uh, best friend, and his best friend was killed at 14 years old. How many of you are 13 or 14 or close to that? So, if you can imagine, I had a, a guy that came to my house, spent the night at my house over the weekend, every single weekend with my brother. He was killed at the age of 14. Um, that was actually one of the defining moments of when my mother uh, decided to move us to Cleveland Heights. I went to Cleveland, I graduated from Cleveland Heights High School. What's that? Oxford? Okay, okay. Um, and uh, a lot of the things that I saw, a lot of the things that I was involved with in East Cleveland kind of made me a hard shell. And uh, I got to Cleveland Heights, and a lot of my teachers saw that I had some energy that I needed to channel in a different direction. And like Coach Armstrong said, uh, I had some people behind me telling me that I needed to wrestle, um, that I could be great at the sport. And again, like Coach Armstrong said, myself, I was a two-time state qualifier. I was a state placer. This sport has given me everything that I have in life. It wasn't for a college coach from University of Finley come knocking at my doorstep. I wasn't even thinking about college. He gave me an opportunity. I only wrestled one year of college. However, I'm, through this sport, I figured out that once I start something, I wanted to finish it. So I came home, I graduated from Kent State, and I didn't stop there. Once I got my, my bachelor's, I felt that it was pretty easy. And I went on and got my master's as well. So the one thing that you will hear all the time through wrestling is once you wrestle, everything else in life is easy. And I'm here and I can attest to that. Because again, I'm a, I was a kid, never thought about college, never thought I had the grades, never thought I had the, the push, never thought I had the um, that it factor. Wrestling gave me that. So I know we all here, and we look at this as a sport, and you should have fun. Definitely have fun with it. But all these great coaches that come up here and that's gonna to talk to you, all these coaches that are giving back to this sport, they're giving back because this sport has given them so much. So when they're here, know that they're here for you guys. And know that you have somebody here that's gonna show you and be an example of what you can be. Again, I got my uh, my college degree, I'm an accountant. Do I even look like an accountant? Uh, I don't. I don't even look like an accountant. I work for the Department of Defense. I work downtown in the federal building on East 9th. I've been there for 10 years, almost 10 years. So I'm just here. I just want to give back to, to the sport of, you know, giving me so many things. So I just want to give back. I want to help give you guys and girls uh, some direction to the sport. And hopefully you'll be up here telling your story in 10 years, 15 years. I'm not sure. Andy, you gonna give a little background? 